Hello everybody. In my last video I went over the steps for installing a desktop GUI on Red Hat 7. In this video I will show you how to access that server over RDP using XRDP. Okay, so you can see I've logged into my Red Hat 7 server here as root, so I will not need to run sudo for most of the commands here. If you do not log in as root, you'll need to run sudo for most of the commands. So before we install XRDP, you'll need to uh, set up a repo file because if you do not, chances are the yum command will fail. So you can create the file I've just created here and enter the following. I'll have a link in the description of this video with uh, the steps that I'm going over so you can copy directly uh, the values that you see here from that file. Okay, you should now have something that looks like this. You can save the file and exit. And now we will install XRDP and Tiger VNC server. Okay, now we should be able to start the XRDP service. And we will also enable it. And we should now see port 3389 listening. And the next thing we will do is allow TCP port 3389 over the public zone for the firewall. Optionally, you could also disable the firewall, but my firewall is running so I'm going to allow the rule or allow the port and if you've done that you can also then reload the firewall okay so now that that's done if you need to modify the XRDP configuration you can do it with this XRDP.ini file and I'm actually going to comment out one of the lines here where it says channel underscore code equals one. I'm commenting that out because I had previously found an issue where uh, I would go to connect to a XRDP session. The desktop would appear for about a second and then the session would close randomly. So uh, you can do that if you want. You don't have to, but if you have that issue, that should help. So I've saved that and now I'm going to open up a RDP session to this server. So once you've done this, you can enter either the fully qualified domain name or IP address of your server. And you should be prompted to log in with one of the users. If there is an issue, it should pop up on that box that we just saw on the left hand side there. You can also check var log messages. Okay, so as you can see, we have now opened up the desktop using XRDP. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I hope this video was helpful for you, and as always, thanks for watching.